I'm Dan Hunt. And this is Up Close and Personal. We are live at World CryptoCon in the beautiful Aria Hotel. And we are loving it. This is day one of CryptoCon. My guest today, Jeff Galloway, the inventor, can I say that? The inventor of SafeCoin. And we're going to talk all about that. Thank you so much for being with us on the program today, Jeff. Thank you so much for having me, Dan. Okay, Jeff. So let's start out, before we get into SafeCoin, yeah. let's start out talking about you. You were born and raised in Calgary, Canada. That's right, yeah. Um, a? Yeah, that's right, eh? <laughs> a? No doubt so about it. Yeah, no doubt about it. And you say Z up there too, right? We do. Okay. <laughs> um, tell me, as a little kid yeah. growing up in Calgary, Canada, it might be a little different than the United States or in Europe where people are watching this show. Was it cold there? <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty cold. I think it used to be colder then than it is now, for sure. Really? So yeah. you think it's warming up over time? Uh, seems to be a little bit, yeah. Oh, wow. but, uh, it's still, I still appreciate the weather here. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a fantastic place to hold a conference. Yeah, yeah. so Las Vegas, isn't it? And the weather outside right now, beautiful here? Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's just great. Um, so growing up, I always ask this question, you know, let's think about when you were 10, when you were 12 years old, what did you want to be when you grow up? Pretty sure at that time I wanted to be an astronaut, yeah. An astronaut? Yeah. Why? What, what made you think about wanting to be an astronaut? Well, I, I think at that age, a, a lot of kids uh, like the possibilities and like the limitless of it uh, when they first learn about space and they're first looking up in the sky and, and uh, they're being and they're, they start to ask questions where does that end uh, where is that and 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 people explain to them that it's so far away you could never imagine uh, that there's no limit to it that's that's no that's very limit. appealing yeah, okay. yeah. Um, now for those of you that are watching uh, this right now there's actually a I believe it's a Lamborghini that they just started just right across the hall. We are that's right. in the convention hall here. So yeah. if there's a little bit of background noise, that's just because, I don't know, crypto people just had a Lamborghini in La room. Lambo's getting in the way. That's right. Um, let's talk a little bit about your hero when you were a kid. When you were a kid, who was your hero? Who did you look up to it? Was it a sports athlete? Was it a, you know, Spider-Man, Superman? Wayne Gretzky. Dad? Wayne Gretzky. Wayne uh, Gretzky. Yeah. Really? Why Wayne Gretzky? Well, I don't know what the comparable would be, but he, uh, I guess maybe met Michael Jordan for uh, basketball, but he, uh, he basically would just, again, he had almost no limits on what he could do. Uh, in, in for ice hockey, which was the kind of right. the sport he we grew up in. Pretty much do anything. Yes. Yeah. And uh, if I memory serves me, he, he played for the Kings, right? He did play for the Kings. Yeah. And he was also very classy. He was very very classy. He represented well. Uh, he he was somebody that people could look up to. So. Yeah. Now, what happened when the Kings played the Calgary team? Did you vote for? Did you root for the Kings? <laughs> Oh, I vote for Calgary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're still, still a That's Calgary. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, you told me when we were talking that uh, when you were younger, the Olympics, the Winter Olympics were actually in Calgary. Yeah. Um, did you get to go to any of the events? What was it like having that environment around you? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, see, seeing uh, all the excitement and the energy, you can really feel it. it yes. Uh, even even at a young age, you can just you can you can feel that, and, and I feel a little, little bit of that here as well. Exactly. Uh, you, 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 you know, this we actually haven't opened the conference yet, yeah. so all the booths are being built right now, and there's all this action going on. But like you and I talked this morning, the energy in this room is already here. It really is. Same yeah. as with the Olympics. I've personally covered several of the Olympics, so it's, it's just that same feeling of those Olympics. Yeah. Um, now, now, as you got older, you went to school and, and you became a project manager. So from an astronaut and you graduated college, you went out and you get, went into the world and you became a project manager. What, what's, what's up with that? Actually, yeah, I did my degree in biology and did a lot of work with uh, genomes and DNA sequencing, uh, uh, neur uh, neural networks, uh, that kind of thing. Um, now, but the thing is uh, with biology degrees, sometimes when you go out and into the world, you look for work, uh, it's more of a documentation type of job. Right. Uh, so, I, so I quickly uh, migrated into a career where you get 
to do something and, and see results, which is really what interests me. So that's, uh, that's why I'm so, like there. So you invented a cryptocurrency? I did? Well, yeah, I shouldn't say that. So, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto did in uh, Happy White Paper Day. Right, Happy White Paper Day. That's actually that's right. today. It is. October 31st is when we are actually taping this uh, show, and that is actually today yeah. is the White Paper Day. And right about now, actually, at this time of day is when it came out. Yeah, he gets some credit. <laughs> just, just a little bit of yeah, credit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And, and from that, though, from that platform, you decided that you might be able to do it a little bit better. So you invented SafeCoin. Yeah, I founded SafeCoin uh, based off of... Uh, uh, a technology called Komodo, a very, very uh, cutting edge technology which came from Zcash. Uh, so, it, so it has a, a number of really modern features in it. It is, it is a highly evolved coin, I guess you could say. Right. Yeah. Um, SafeCoin has the name SafeCoin, so I'm going to assume that you feel it's one of the safest coins out there. That's what we want it to be. I'm not going to say it will be yet. It's, okay. It will be soon. It will be soon. Very soon, yes. Okay. And and this coin, your plans for this coin are to take it from business to business, bank to bank, or or C to B, consumer to business. I, I think it has uh, strong B to B opportunities. Uh, for one, because uh, because of the safety and security component of it, you you can handle large volumes. You can handle. Uh, uh, a, a large number of transactions and have a high level of security. Um, you also have the option of going uh, public or private. You know, if a company's doing uh, payrolls, they don't necessarily want to publish their payrolls to the entire world. Uh, most business applications, really, uh, privacy may be a more suitable application for them. Uh, but customer as well, uh, uh, retail, I think it has a role there too. You think it has a role in the retail market as well? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of talk these days, and I, you know, in this this convention so far, we've only just started, but we have a lot of conversation about proof of work and proof of stake and mm. mining coins and not mining coins. So, first of all, is this a proof of work or a proof of stake process? This is a proof of proof of work. Yeah. Proof of work yes. process. So this will be a mining opportunity. Yes. Yes. That's absolutely wonderful. I think a lot of people are going to be very happy on that. Yeah. Now you've done something that I think is a little bit unique in that you're mining and piggybacking your mining off of the Bitcoin blockchain. Is that correct? We will be doing that, yes. So uh, we have that working in uh, testnet right now where we're going to be uh, working uh, with the Bitcoin community uh, to actually uh, form partnerships and uh, allow them investment opportunities in SafeCoin while at the same time uh, protecting our blockchain right. and uh, utilizing the security of Bitcoin uh, to provide safety to, safe, to the SafeCoin community. Okay. Now, I know you're a speaker here because I'm looking at your tag right over there. It says speaker, so you're a speaker here at the conference. Yeah. What are you talking on? Are you just doing a pitch or do you have a topic that you're talking on? Oh, I'm definitely going to be talking about safety and uh, ta talking about uh, how we're going to work to play a role in securing the future of cryptocurrency uh, by providing a higher level of safety, which uh, in my opinion is really the, the missing piece in cryptocurrency uh, changing the world, which I really hope that it does soon. Now, for those of the people that are actually here at the conference, do you have a yeah. booth here? We do, you yes. have a booth here, and if yeah. they want more information, you can look right below, and That's your right. link for SafeCoin is right below, so all yeah. the information is on your website, right? Absolutely. Okay, thank you so much. We truly appreciate you being here tonight. For Up Close and Personal, live from the Aria Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, on Bitcoin's birthday. I'm Dan Hunt saying have a great rest of today and an even better day tomorrow.